Assalamu alaikum and welcome to California Care. We are going to discuss the reason behind the white spot lesions in post orthodontic cases. Number one reason, in my opinion, people have white spot lesions after orthodontics is because the brackets are placed and this area is very thoroughly cleaned. When this area is cleaned, you have a little discrepancy between the bracket and the tooth structure. No matter how much the patient tries to keep it clean, the food will accumulate there. Right at the junction between the bracket and the tooth structure, there will be, there'll be a ledge. And that is where the bacteria will eat the food. And as they metabolize, the metabolite byproducts are acidic in nature. That acid will work like an etchant and it would decalcify the enamel. That is why you have decalcification white spot lesions. It's a different subject in how to get rid of the white spot lesions and the intensity of it. But what I have ended up seeing is a lot of patients end up having class 5 decay. Class 5 decay, uh, gingival or apical to where the bracket is placed. It's very hard for the patient to keep this area clean. So first thing I do is I tell the patient to make sure they clean this area, particularly brush. I want them to brush their gums, not necessarily the teeth. Secondly, in order to prevent it, I do flat surface sealants. So what I would do is after the bracket placement, I would take flowable composite and I would go around and I would add my composite to about two millimeter zone around each bracket. You see, like that. And this is a flowable composite. It offers, first of all, wonderful coverage of the tooth structure. This composite can be very nicely polished away at debonding or debracketing. But at the same time, it also affords me very good adhesion of the bracket and retention of the bracket. Now, no matter how much food would get stuck here, we are not going to have decalcification because all the acid will rest on my composite. I will let it sit there for a few seconds, maybe a minute or so, as it mellows out, then we bring the light and cure it, okay, without touching it. And after cure, we have, we can go ahead and place the wire and put the ligatures on. This would definitely take care of you not having white lesions, not having decalcification, not having class 5 decay once you debracket the patient. Remember, these are very easy to remove with gold shank polishing composite burrs. Please do not use a diamond. You do not want to cut away the enamel. As you are debonding and debracketing, you're removing the old composite. You use a composite polishing burr in dry mode, no water. So you'll be able to see where the composite is and when the enamel begins. I'll make a separate video in showing how to finish a case in orthodontics. I hope that helps.